Hi, I'm David. I'm Stacey. And we're from Leeds, England, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. Hey, everybody. It's pretty early in the morning right now. A little too early for a whole lot of things, but not too early to go get new tires. We need to get new drive tires on my truck. I was debating whether or not I should just get four, but I think I'm just gonna re get all eight, all at the same time. Uh, my dad and my father-in-law were both down here, uh, was it yesterday or the day before? And yeah, we had a, a bit of a family barbecue at our house here and I went and showed them my tires and they both said, yeah, you should probably get them all done all at once. You don't wanna have, uh, it's not really good to have brand new tires on one axle and then you know, pretty old tires on the next axle if they're different size, like, different sizes or if the difference is quite a bit so we're gonna go get all new eight tires today We've got to bring it to Volvo as well this interior fan is not working see this nothing nothing so we gotta go get that fixed uh, or at least get the part to get it fixed I'm probably just gonna let them do it there because they also have to look at a few other things on my truck to make sure that she's uh, ready to go you know fix them while the problems are small before they turn into something big. That's sort of what I'm thinking. So, let's get a move on. We gotta get this rig all the way into the city. Off to Winnipeg we go. Here we are at Volvo in Winnipeg, also known as Beaver Truck Lines. You can see it right there. Oh, it's not Beaver Truck Lines, it's Beaver, well, leasing and rentals. I guess they do rentals here as well. Uh, I think it's called Beaver Volvo. Very Canadian, yeah. So we're here in Winnipeg. I'm going to go inside, check in, and hopefully we can get everything done quickly. I decided to come here first before getting tires. Because tires won't take as long, and this might take most of the day. So I wanted to make sure that I, uh, that I get in here so I can get all the work done that I need. Okay, I've calmed down now. I was so upset. So here's the story, and this was confirmed by... The next person I talked to, I'll get to that point in a little bit, but we, we got here to the Volvo, right? And uh, they didn't let me make an appointment. They told me that, you know, we have this many bays, you know, we don't make appointments. All you got to do is show up and we'll get you in as soon as we can. We should be able to get you in in a couple of hours and be on your way. This was last week, right? When I called in to make an appointment to make sure that they could accommodate me today. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. So I'll just show up and uh, we'll see what happens. That's why I came here early. And they said, yeah, no problem. We should be able to get it done. It's just an interior fan. I got here and they said, oh, we can't get you in for at least three days. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You told me that I could get in today, but I, that I, that I wouldn't have to wait. They said, oh no, but you don't have an appointment. But you told me not to make an appointment. You told me just to show up. Oh, but... We always prioritize those people who call in to make an appointment. And if you just show up like this, we'll squeeze you in between appointments. I'm like, but I called you to make to make an appointment. I, I specifically called you to make an appointment and you specifically told me that you don't do appointments. That I couldn't make an appointment. I was kind of pushy. I said, I need to make an appointment. And they said, no, 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 we don't do that. You just show up. But now I show up and I'm being pushed back by people who made appointments. I don't like people who run businesses like this. I don't like businesses that are run like this. That's better, better said that way. Like, how do you run a business like this? And so what I did was I called uh, Trucks Unlimited and Steinbeck. That's my shop that I usually go to. Uh, between them and Martin Diesel, I go, those are my two shops that I trust in Steinbeck. They've been, both done good work. And uh, I called Trucks Unlimited and I told them what happened and they just laughed. They said, you know what? They just had a couple of Volvos in their shop there that needed some programming. And for programming, it has to go to the dealership, right? So they had to bring it here to the dealership. And they called in a dealership calling to, or a shop calling another shop. And they said, no, 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 we don't make an appointment. We don't make appointments, you just show up. Is exactly what they told them too. They said, no, 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 we need to know when the truck's gonna get in. And they kept saying, oh, we don't know. You just gotta show up and we'll get it in the same day. So the same thing happened to them. So he says he's got a lot of customers that don't come here at all anymore that bring their trucks over there for anything other than programming. 
So I'm not the only one that this happened to, is what I'm trying to say. It's just... You know, I sort of planned my whole week, my whole weekend, my last trip, everything I planned around getting here and getting my truck fixed. Either today, even tomorrow, if I had to bring it tomorrow, what? I... But they can't even consider looking at me for three days yet. It's Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So on Thursday morning, they were thinking they might be able to fit it in if nobody called in to make appointments before then. And I'm just sitting there like, what do you mean? If, if someone calls in to make an appointment, you'll push me back. I'm here right now. Let's make an appointment right now. He says, no, 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 we don't make appointments. Am I missing something? So let me get this straight one more time. One more time. I was at the desk there just like trying not to lose my mind. So you're not going to let me make an appointment, but you're going to push me back because people have made appointments and you got to get to them first. Yes. See you later. I walked out. <laughs> Who runs a business like that, right? Who runs a business? Okay, well, that's my rant. My rant is over. I don't want to go on any further. Otherwise, I'll become accused of complaining too much, right? But, man, I got all kinds of things going through my head that I can't say on the internet right now. That's just... Have any of you heard of something like this before? Let me know. Is this normal? That was exactly how the conversation went. Exactly how it went. Okay, let's make an appointment. No, you can't make an appointment. You just gotta show up. Okay, so when should I show up? I don't know, we got a bunch of appointments to get to before you. Volvo Winnipeg. Volvo Winnipeg. Why do you gotta give yourself such a bad name? You're doing this to yourself, you know. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. You did this to yourself. My money is going somewhere else to someone who doesn't mess with me that way. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to West End Tire. I'm going to find out where I put my keys. Where did I put my keys in this whole mess? Where did I put my keys? I had, to, I had to use my keys to get in here. My keys not in the ignition. Why aren't my keys in the ignition? Where's my keys? How did I get in here then? One second, one second, I'm gonna find my keys. I found my keys. Oh, there they are. I was so mad when I got in here, I guess I just threw them down. <laughs> you know, I always say you gotta be polite to everybody. No matter how frustrating the situation is, keep your cool, right? Keep your cool. It takes a man to, a real man can keep his cool and walk away from a situation. You know, any kid, any boy can get in there and just yell at them and get all frustrated and cause a big scene, but it takes a man just to remain calm and walk away. That's what I always say. That's what I always say. I'm trying to be a man today. Trying to be a man. I'll just rant on YouTube. How about that? How about that? Okay, so now we're gonna go to West End Tire, uh, which is right nearby here. We're gonna buy eight new tires. It's gonna make me feel a lot better. And then we're gonna go drop this truck off in Steinbeck, call Britt to come pick me up. And that'll be that. What a day. Let me know if you have similar experiences down below in the comment section. Well, we're here in the shop. Getting ready to spend three thousand dollars. So this is West End Tire on the uh, west end of Winnipeg. This is sort of like the the trucker corner of Winnipeg. So I'm getting eight new recaps. Well, my tires are getting done over there. Figured I'd meander my way over here to Timmy's. See what they got for me today. Maybe they got some coffee. You think? Well, let's look both ways. Let's look both ways, Josh. That way and that way. Okay. That gets pretty good views, though, eh? Trucker Josh gets run over at Tim Hortons. There we go.
We're ready to go. So while I was at Volvo before, the parts counter picked me up a little goodie. That is a chrome bug deflector for my hood. Keep some of these bugs off this windshield, maybe. We'll see how it works. So these drives should be good for over 300,000 kilometers, over 200,000 miles. I'm hoping to get closer to 300,000 miles out of them, but uh, we'll see. We'll keep close track and uh, see what happens. The next time I'll probably buy brand new virgin rubber uh, that, that aren't recaps, but uh, like I said, we'll see what happens. So now we are off on our way to uh, the chrome shop. I'm gonna go look at some chrome and some shiny things. I think it's called Winnipeg House of Chrome. House of Chrome truck accessories. <laughs> oh yes, I'm excited. I've wanted to stop in here for so long. I've never actually been able to stop in here. Well, let's go have a look, see. Oh dear, it's kind of windy out here. This truck is pretty hardcore beside me here. Look at this. There's three axles. Some heavy haul. Look at that tire tread. Yikes. As opposed to my new tread. These are for the highway use though. The other ones are for regional off-road and heavy work. Look all right. So what I'm kind of looking for is my mud flat here. Oh man, this is too windy. It's too windy. My mud flap here is kind of uh, messed up there. It's still connected. It's still bolted on. It's just like to replace it with a nice shiny one and the other one to match of course Let's see what they have oh maybe like a kid in a candy store I was expecting something a lot different in there. I've never been in there before. I was expecting sort of like a uh, Iowa 80 type deal, right? But uh, not really. They didn't really have a lot in stock and uh, it was a little expensive. For those mud flap uh, holders that I want, I want the chrome piece with the three lights in there. Uh, I've been seeing them at prices for $200 American with lights all over the place. And here, uh, they wanted $300 Canadian plus $20 a light, which is an extra $160. So we're talking like $460 just for the mud flaps. Not the mud flaps itself, but the mud flap bracket. $460, no, I can find those way cheaper elsewhere. So we're going to go online and uh, check prices there because the internet usually has all the all the good deals. Sad that, you know, stores like in real life that you walk into are always undersold or what, what do you call it? The, the, they're always beat price-wise by online stores because online stores don't have overhead costs or anything. They just sell it on Amazon or whatever and they can sell it for cheaper. Bad for them, good for me. So we're in the wife mobile. I dropped the truck off at Trucks Unlimited here in Steinbach and they're gonna fix that interior fan for me and also put that new bug deflector that I got on for me, so that's nice of them. And uh, they can get the truck in today, which is 
usual for them here and apparently it's very common for volvo in the city to do what they did you know they they expect you to drop your truck off there and then you know they'll get to it when they get to it which is usually in a minimum of like three to seven days what truck driver has a week just to take off to wait for their truck to go in to get a fan replaced right i mean i probably could have replaced the fan myself just bought the part that's true but i did try taking the dash apart somewhat myself and I didn't feel comfortable at, at a certain point I felt like I was gonna break it all and I just have a lot of other things I need to get done at home as well and I got a lot of other stuff on my plate so I figure you know what let's just get the, the professionals to deal with it and uh, bite the bullet on that one I guess it's not that expensive but anyway so I dropped the truck off there uh, it's going into the shop today already and my wife Britt came and picked me up in her wife mobile here we went to Walmart sniffed around there a little bit had some fun and then uh, stop by here at the co-op on the west side, is east side, east side of town of Steinbeck. We're both feeling kind of tired today. We're probably just recovering from our family gathering we had this weekend. I didn't film anything there, but we had something like between 30 and 40 people over for a barbecue. Lots of fun, lots of fun. Uh, it was mostly family. Well, it was all family. Uh, uh, we want to have another barbecue sometime, probably next year with all of our friends as well, but we have a big family, so you got to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> there she is. There she is. They were on three for five bucks, so I got three. What a bargain. I know, right? <laughs> oh, big stretch. Big stretch. You want to introduce him? You want to introduce him, Chevy? Your new foster brother? Where is he? Where is he? Everybody meet Big Frank. <laughs> Frankie 2 or Frankie 2.0. Technically he's Frankie 1. He was born three years before this one. So he's uh, a foster that we're taking care of for a little while while his owner is going through some surgery and treatments with the doctor that Makes her a little unable to care for him at the moment, so we're gonna take good care of him in the meantime. And you guy? The only confusing thing is these are both Frankie now. Frankie one, <laughs> Frankie two. So we're going with Big Frank and Wiener. Wiener. He responds to Wiener, so your name is now officially Wiener. Is it? Is it Wiener? <laughs> Should legally change it? What do you think, Diesel? What do you think of your foster brother? He's a wiener dog mix of some sorts. We don't know what. He was a rescue mm. before this, so we don't know. <laughs> Diesel. Do you like him? He doesn't really like you. There's a new guy. There's a new guy. Mom. There's a new guy. He's not so sure about all these guys yet. He doesn't mind them too much, but he he's arthritic, so he doesn't like to play. Yeah, he's an old guy. What did they say, 14 years old? No, 12. 12? 12, 12 years old. He's got a bit of arthritis. Yeah, and he's an old guy. I don't even know what his life was like before this. He was found in a ditch in the States before uh, his owners previously got him. They were an older couple, a senior couple. And then that couple passed away within five months of each other. So then the lady, now that we are looking after him for is uh not doing so well so hopefully she recovers and makes a full recovery and can take him back home someday he's an american are you an american america hey right frankie say it america 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 he's got a southern twang he does when he talks he's a little shy right now but he's got a bit of a southern twang yeah Found down there someone. Someone, I guess, uh, abandoned him down there. And then it was the, the two people were Canadians, right? I don't know the whole story. Family? You know all the details I know at this point. So, uh, like his first owners that we know that have we have a record of, like, like she was saying, found him in a ditch in the US. Someone had abandoned him and I guess they tried to find who he belonged to and couldn't find him. So they kept him and then they both passed away. So then he moved on to this next lady. And this lady is going through some treatments with the doctor right now, like I said. So he's uh, he's had quite the life. But he's been very good and he's fit into our home really nicely. So we'll have him for, uh, well, we're not too sure. Probably about a year. Probably about a year? I'm thinking. That's what I've been told. 
So now when we refer to Frankie, we are referring to this Frankie and that Frankie is now Wiener. So if we say Wiener, wiener that's the Wiener. Frankie is, I don't know what you are, buddy. Well, you're, he's definitely part Wiener. We just don't know what else. He's the American. Maybe like Beagle and Chihuahua or something. Yeah. He's bigger than, than this Frankie, but that's why I'm thinking Beagle, but then mm -hmm. Chihuahua like in the facial features. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but because he's a foster, he won't be coming on the road with me. He'll be staying here. Uh, his owner lives 10 minutes from here, so she can come and see him whenever she wants between treatments and stuff. And uh, she wants to check up on him or just spend some time with him. I don't know, maybe she'll take him for the day a couple times. Take him for a little bit, I don't know. Okay. I really don't know what's gonna happen, but for now, we just got him yesterday. Yesterday so, afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. He's our new foster cat. Yeah, he's like a cat. You gotta be very careful with him though. He's, he's like I said, got some arthritis and he's got some sore joints, especially when he lays down for a while. But he'll fit in just fine. Do the best we can. Give him lots of love. TLC. So thanks for watching today. Uh, my truck is at the shop, like I was telling you in Steinbeck. I'm hoping I can go pick it up tomorrow. So tune in then. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you then.